a greeting so this is going to be for the Libra sun moon and rising signs for the month of november 2019 i do hope that this reading resonates for all who watch but because it is general it may or may not resonate so i do advise that you watch your rising and your moon placement as well you also can book a personal reading with me through my website, which will be linked in the description box below. I also have my Instagram link to where I do sales, discounts, and also 48-hour energy readings for all the zodiac signs. So follow me. Also, I would like to say thank you to all of my new and my old subscribers. To all of you who have supported me in any way, it is greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It would mean a lot if you hit the subscribe button. Okay, this is completely general. It can apply to any situation, um, but I do hope that, you know, it makes sense to you all so that you can use it to prepare for the month ahead, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. And we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the Queen of, or the King of Cups in reverse. So Libra, what this feels like, this seems for a lot of you to be something where it's like a one-on-one -on -one thing, um, just because there's a lot of queens and things of that nature in here. We do have Sagittarius, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you and a particular person um, that you're involved with, regardless of what the situation is, are both very headstrong or just very, both very aware of what's wanted. Um, and I feel like even though that is, and I feel like there are different viewpoints um, that you and this person may have, like opposing viewpoints, I feel like you guys are coming to a term of agreeing to, to, to disagree or coming to a compromise. But there's some sort of... Um, difficult communication that is alleviating. So why is this Five of Swords in reverse? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. So you both may be agreeing to walk away, um, but just maybe alleviating it. Yeah, we have the World card. So I feel like you and another person, because there is differences on the ends of you guys' thoughts, clarify this Queen of Swords. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Give me this. Give me clarity on this. This King of Wands. I feel like because there is a, opposing views, I feel like someone may be fed up with something or just is more serious about something. Needs to see something um, a little bit more action oriented before, um, or just see see results and, and see results that are consistent before they want to give into something. Um, or in order to give into something and maybe another person wants knows what they want and they want to move into something fast We have the five of pentacles or the five of cups, excuse me um, So I feel like someone is just not emotionally Satisfied within this situation. Yeah, we have the four of cups there could be some boredom here Maybe someone is more serious and more like slowly driven or just like has a more slow approach or wants things to be more slow or someone is just a little bit more serious and the other person is a little bit more passionate or emotionally like driven so i feel like there is a agreement instead of fighting due to these differences or whatever the situation was you guys are coming to terms of closure you and another person yeah see we even have the death card with the nine of swords in reverse so you're coming out of overthinking a situation being stressed out about a situation um all of those things into a new transition so let's see why is this queen of pentacles in reverse okay we have the full card 
Aries, Aquarius. Give me some more clarity. We also have Scorpio. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like um, you just felt like, you know, there would be just a new beginning that would be done. Like you were just going to make a decision or there was a decision made and based off of that, you're going to move into something new. And it may have not felt all the way comfortable or you weren't expecting it to feel all the way comfortable or secure. But I feel like, um, you know, you were thinking you were just going to move into something. But I feel like there's actually going to be a conversation that's had um that brings about some closure like just coming to terms nine of cups are reversed getting some things off your chest i feel like you and this person will be able to have a conversation about how and why this relationship wasn't satisfying you both okay and um it, it'll be something where it's not any hard feelings um okay give me some more clarity why is the seven of wands here? Okay, we have the tower card, Scorpio again. And Scorpio's reading actually was a lot like this, to be honest, um, Libra, because there was two people that came out just like yours in particular. This could be any situation. This doesn't have to be a love situation either. This could be like whatever situation. Um, okay, we have the seven of cups. So... I feel like all of these things coming out of nowhere will take like one of you, if not both of you, for a loop with certain things. Just because I feel like certain perspectives that the other person has in regards to certain things is kind of shocking or just wasn't expected. Um, or maybe you didn't realize. Like it's kind of like this this coming into an energy of getting closure with someone is, is very eye-opening for the both of you because certain ways that like, you may have interpreted something, they interpret it in a different way. And it's just like it makes sense, but it's also like it doesn't kind of. It's just like I feel like there's something about the perspective scene of the situation that's just a little bit put off for someone in the situation. Give me some more clarity on this. Page of Swords with the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like um, Knight of Swords in reverse. So there is an energy based off of having some more clarity because I do feel like whatever the situation is, it's going to get very intimate as far as letting it be known why something needs to end or, you know, the feelings on both ends, why it didn't work out, things like that. I feel like it's going to be eye opening. And now that there's an eye opener to a certain capacity, I feel like you or another person may be like, dang, well, now that I know what the issue is, I would like to fix it. But I think that you both are just coming to terms to leaving this alone. So there's kind of still like those thoughts lingering. Um, it's like, you know, well, what if we tried again based off of, you know, being more understanding now, things like that. So let me, I'm just going to pull two more cards to get some more clarity. Then I'm going to pull your advice. Give me some more clarity on the situation. Okay, yeah, we have the Six of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something that you have walked away from, but it's still a slow process. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse with the higher fence in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, you walked away from something, but maybe, you know, you were still kind of waiting for that communication or due to not having that closure or that, that conversation that kind of made things make sense as to why something fully ended was causing it to, to end slowly. But I feel like um, you and this person will come back together and have a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation about why things need to end. I feel like it's going to be very eye-opening. So we do have chakra clearing. It says, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using um, sacred uh, geometric shapes. Give me one more clarify for the Libra. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Give me one more clarifier for the Libra. And we have Indico and Crystal Children. It says you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So, um, hmm.
I feel like something about the situation too could be clearing out some beliefs, feelings, just baggage and pertains to your childhood as well for some of you. Um, hmm. Give me one more because this children card threw me off. Okay, we have clear sense. I'm not even going to try to say it. It says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings. Yeah, I feel like this, this situation is triggering something. This situation that you're having to leave is touching base on something. And I feel like within having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation or just coming to terms of being cool with the situation ending, I feel like it's going to bring you in touch. It's going to heal something within your inner child. Like It's going to help you to realize something about yourself that's deep, deep, deep in there. Um, and you're going to move past this. It's going to align something and clear something out. Clear out any blockages is what I'm feeling. Um, so I hope that that makes sense. If you would like a personal reading, please do check out the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.